Hey guys, it's Jack Square, and today I'm going to show you how to give text and other graphics a distressed look, and also how to give them this painted on look, like in my Facebook cover photo and YouTube channel art. I've seen other tutorials about how to do this, but a lot of them are very involved and some of them are a little bit more complicated. This is a simple way to do this in Photoshop. Now, of course, simple is not always better, and if you're going more complicated, you will usually have more control over what's happening, but sometimes you just need something quick and easy. So I have this picture of a wall, and what we're going to do is right on here I am using impact in black I'm going to say hey position this around where we want it here you can uh, control T if you want to transform it hold shift to maintain the aspect ratio we're going to make this big there we go enter to confirm and what we want to do now is go over here and right click and we want blending options. If we just play with things like opacity, it's going to give it a very cheesy sort of look. What we want is this box down here. And what this is controlling is how this layer, our text right here, interacts with blacks and whites in its own layer and in the underlying layer. So if we play with this slider right here, it's not going to do anything because they're is no white in this text. If we play with this slider, boom, it just disappears right away because it's all black. But if we play with these two down here, specifically this slider, and we start pulling it over, we start to see some of those whites starting to peek through. With this one, you have to pull like all the way over. You can see a little bit of that starting to creep through there. And Initially, that's giving us a bit of a distressed look, and it's starting to look like, hey, that might be stenciled on or something, but it still looks like horse excrement. So we want to change that. What we're going to do, kind of our secret weapon, is we want to go to this slider, hit and hold Alt, click it again, and ta-da! The slider separates, and now we have more nuanced control over what's happening here. And we can get this really nice look. Excuse me, I'm coughing there. Again, this is just a simple way of doing this. You can do the same thing over here. Separate that if we want to pull that. And again, just you know, play with it and see what, what works for you, obviously because our text is dark and our background is light. We're working more on this side of things, and that's going to give you that look. Hit OK, and of course this works for other things as well. If we make a little shape right here. Uh, let's make that, I'll tell you what, let's make it black. And that, we're gonna go, hey. That's what it says, it says hey. Let's Transform that, just change it up a little bit, and confirm. Same thing. Blending options. Let's move this out of the way so we can see what we're doing. Play with it a little bit. Looks okay. We want it to look better. Hold down Alt, click, separate the sliders, and we have a little bit more control over what's going on. And. There we have it, this very neat, distressed look. Looks like this has been spray painted on, at least as a quick way, a quick method of doing that. So I hope this has been helpful to you guys. If you end up using this on any of your projects, whether for YouTube or anything graphics related, definitely let me know because I would love to check it out. If you have any questions or suggestions, hit me up in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks a bunch, and I'll catch you guys next time. Hey.